Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm upstairs in the back room and I apologize for that mess right over here. Um, well, there's a mess everywhere, um, but you can't see that, thank goodness. Um, it's been super, super hot and muggy and this is actually the first time I've been able to come up here. Um, pretty much all summer because it's been so hot and muggy and it's actually cool enough today that um, I can come up here which is good because I desperately need to clean um, I don't know how much I'm gonna actually get done today but I just felt like hanging out up here because I could I have some appointments coming up um, I have an appointment with um, the hematologist tomorrow um, I've been getting a lot of petechial rashes, which are like little, um, pinpoint size, like dots, um, bruising. It's when like, the capillaries break and it causes bleeding into the skin. Um, I don't have any that I can show you really on my arms that would show up. Um, but it started with a small spot on my knee when I hit my knee on the car I don't know how it happened it happened but I hit my knee and it swelled and bruised and I got the petechiae but since it swelled I didn't think much of it because it stretches the skin and my um, vessels and tissues are very sensitive to begin with so you know they're very fragile so I didn't think anything of it over the next few days, it spread and eventually covered both of my legs up to the thigh. Um, so I had some really scary moments, um, but since it's my blood work was all normal, um, except my platelet count is a low normal. Um, your platelets are considered low if they go under 150,000 and mine are at 157,000. So it's still normal, but it's a low normal, um, which is some concern considering, you know, they were last at like 350 something. Um, you know, so it, it's a little bit concerning, and but I'm not too, too concerned because it's still normal. And the rest of my blood work came out normal, so if there, were, there was um, a big concern, considering about 70% of the cause of a petechial rash like that is due to um, some form of leukemia or blood disease. Um, but since my, the rest of my blood work is okay, um, that it, you know, it's most likely that it's not. And I'm starting to think that it's more related to the EDS with the tissue fragility and stuff. Um, it could be a vasculitis, which isn't too dangerous. Um, if you let it go untreated, it can be dangerous, but you know. I see the, the hematologist tomorrow to get that straightened out. Um, I learn the results of my skin biopsy on Monday with my autonomic neurologist. Um, so that'll be good. Hopefully it'll shed some light on some stuff. Um, and figure out a course of treatment from there and then I see my genetics team on the 26th or 23rd I can't remember I have it written down um, so I have a couple of big appointments coming up and hopefully um, we could find out some answers and get a decent course of treatment so I don't get winded like I am right now I'm starting to have a hard time breathing um, probably just from sitting up. Um, yesterday I had a very hard time sitting up. Um, I've had a massive headache and a lot of neck pain. I've been waking up with a lot of neck pain. Um, I should probably be wearing a neck collar but it's so hot that I can't. Um, I do have an ice pack that wraps, you know, it's in like a neck collar shape but, you know, since I have a very thin neck it's it's bizarre, it's, you know, it's tall even for me, and I have a fairly tall neck. Um, but that's, that's really what's going on. 
Um, oh, I am going to be taking spinning lessons. Um, not, you know, like I used to do like spin class on a bike when I was healthy and active. Um, no, this isn't that. I am going to be learning how to spin yarn on a spinning wheel. I use a spindle right now. I think I've made some videos about it. Here's, you know, the very first yarn that I spun using a spindle, and I have some of that I spun on a spinning wheel, one of my friend's spinning wheels. Um, see that? Yeah. Very. Yeah. You know, and here's the very pretty colors. This is actually a um, a burgundy. Yeah, you can see it's kind of like a purplish red, purplish reddish brown. I am so in love with this color family. Like, I have so much yarn. Uh, and here you can see there's some white. There you go. Yeah. So this yarn is really pretty. Like this fiber. Very, very pretty. Um, so, and this is where, like, it was really bad at first. And the twist is starting to come out. But I have some lovely fibers. Uh, I got this at a sheep and wool festival. And I'm so in love with it. Most of this is an alpaca blend. Um, alpaca comes from alpaca and then here's this fiber you see it's really loose and this will make a really pretty yarn really pretty I can't wait to spin it it's got these beautiful jewel tones it's got this blue in it and it's got that burgundy color that I love so much you can see that and there's let's see good of the green here we go here's some of the green so can you see it let me hold still long enough Get it like you can see it in the sun. There's that one. I love it so much. And then here is some Surrey alpaca. And this is beautiful. There's two different tones of red. Again, it's in that burgundy, but you can see like the hot pink. You know, it gets a little bit of a hot pink tone, and then it goes, it's some darker areas like right here. You can see see the different color variations you get in the sun. There. It's got lots and lots of color in it. And, and I'm planning to ply these together so that it creates a really nice heathered look. And here is more of a burgundy color. They may look the same, but they're not the same. Again, it's very purpley red. And the other ones are more pinkish red. Oh, and it's coming apart already. I, I spin on a spindle right now. Um, I have a couple. They're all put away right now, but um, I love them. Um, they're very simple. Um, and I am going to be renting a spinning wheel from the Rhode Island Spinning Guild. And um, one of my friend's moms offered to teach me how to spin. And I'm so excited. I'm really excited. Um, I've spun before on a wheel, and I did have some difficulty with what's called treadling. There's pedals, and um, there's single treadle and double treadle. And what that means is you either have one pedal or treadle or two, and you move your feet on the double like this, you know. And, you know, the single is just, you know, one foot. Um, so I'm going to try a double. That's what I've used before. Um, and it was a little tough on my ankles, but my friend that was, said that, you know, that wheel was a real tough wheel too, and she ended up selling it. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I think it'll be better to keep myself in alignment, um, using both feet, sitting straight, not slouching. Um, it'll be easier and I won't be hurt as much. And they say only to start trying like 10 minutes a day. That's it, you know, 10 minutes a day and then you build up towards it. So it'll also be good exercise. It'll keep the blood flowing in my legs. I didn't even think of that until now. It'll probably help with, you know, um, blood pooling. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'll be back soon, I hope. Later.